hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is margaret small and i make videos about food fitness traveling lifestyle and to make it even better for you guys i take you on my work journey for those of you who don't know i have a restaurant and as an entrepreneur there's a lot that is involved so i take you along to my journey but in today's video you're back in my kitchen guys thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for all the supporting me i'm so grateful and guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification button and like comment share tell a friend to tell a friend because sharing is caring but guys without further ado you as i said today we're in my kitchen cooking with maggie and today's episode of cooking with maggie i am going to be cooking up something comforting something sweet something delicious something that is going to make your stomach happy so we are making honey glazed ribs and vegetable fried rice easy quick and delicious so guys i don't want your mouth you know watering right now just come with me let's cook it and let's eat together okay so we're going to boil our rice i'm heating up my water i have my pre-washed rice here going to put in here and the rice doesn't take long to cook so this should not cook for about 10 minutes or so five minutes max done and we're making vegetable fried rice so pre-cook your rice or if you have your rice ready bonus for you easy work quick in the kitchen you're out and on the table eating a meal so for today we are boiling our rice from scratch. So for today's cooking, guys, is again, as I said, my cooking is quick because I'm not trying to stay in the kitchen for too long. So for vegetable rice, I've got my vegetables ready and you need your garlic and ginger, spring onions, must. I mean, if you're having something sweet, it just blends in so nicely. So the spring onion gives it that fragrance flavor that you need and for the ribs i have got my scallion carrots and uh, ginger and garlic and of course spring onion as well um and of course you know me i love me a bit of sesame so we'll need to garnish that with it uh for the sauce i have mixed up honey soy sauce and some rice wine vinegar so that's the one we're using you can always use honey if you don't want to put uh, all of uh, these other uh, sauces in there. But, you know, it's all good as long as you whip up something delicious. My, I'll say my key thing in cooking is that it comes out delicious and flavorful. So we have marinated our ribs. I use smoked paprika, some garlic, some dried herbs in there. You can use whatever seasonings that you have and you need to heat your oven up at 200 degrees Celsius and then uh, with the ribs, cook them in the oven, put the ribs in the oil, cover it nicely. So what I want to do is steam cook this. What I mean by steam cook, I've got water ready on my tray and I'm just going to steam cook it because that cooks faster and it retains the moisture. Okay, so we have pre-cooked our ribs. I pre-cooked it for about 35 minutes and then I'm going to cut it and then finish it off in my, on the pan with my honey glazed sauce that I made earlier. So guys, keep watching and keep cooking with me. Okay, so we're just gonna cut the ribs. Actually, do you know this is how we cook our ribs at the restaurant? So you pre-cook them and then cut them into bite size so you're able to tuck in there. When it comes to eating, you're not struggling to eat because after spending that long in the kitchen, you don't want to be struggling eating. So let's make it easy for yourself. Uh, we're going to finish them off in the pan. See, can you imagine struggling eating this when you're super hungry. Mm. 
the to start off you're going to need your olive oil about a tablespoon of that okay so i will start with my ginger and garlic and of course you need your work okay so i'm going to add the ribs so it could seem with those flavors from the ginger and garlic and we want those flavors from the ginger and the garlic to marinate in there in the meat like you want that freshness of the herb guys let me know how you're finding this recipe try them out like i mean sometimes we we think we overthink cooking but if you plan in advance it will be the best thing that you've done for yourself in the kitchen prepping takes longer than cooking so always make sure you prep and that way you won't stay in the kitchen for hours and hours even if you have to prep in the morning or the night before okay so at this point see like i wanted the flavors from the ginger and the garlic to get in the meat you see how juicy it is you want your ribs to be nice and moist like that and then now we're going to add in our sauce cover it so it can glaze together we want it nice and sticky so cover it and let it cook for a few minutes in the meantime let's check on our rice i think our rice is also cooked see it doesn't take the rice doesn't take that long to cook so if you don't have the rice from the night before five minutes your rice is done that smells so good guys the aroma from those ribs and the fresh herbs out of this world and guys having said that i'm not the biggest like i'm not the biggest meat eater like it's rare to find me eating meat like i eat more fish vegetables meat on the other hand is on special occasions okay so guys we're going to add our carrots so they can cook with the ribs and so as i said uh, when you're cooking try to avoid stirring so i'm going to use my wooden spoon mix it all up because i don't want to mash up the meat cover it and let it cook you want your ribs to be nice and caramelized like this so you're getting that sweetness from the carrots from the honey you know i find i actually enjoy cooking i find like cooking is so fun and playful and this is i don't i never understand why people don't like being in the kitchen like Wow. I mean look at this look at this beautiful masterpiece right here okay we're going to keep that on a low heat because we don't want to overcook it we don't want to burn it so keep it on a low heat and cover it so you maintain that moisture in the meat so guys we're making our vegetable fried rice and I personally this is optional I like to add eggs so I'm going to kick up with my eggs pan is already hot i'm going to put in my eggs okay so i'm going to pre-cook my eggs you want them to be scrambled instead of cooking it as an omelet please me with a bit of salt not too much salt because you're going to use your soy sauce and soy sauce has a lot of salt that's it guys we're done two minutes no reason to stay in the kitchen that long okay so we're going to cook our vegetables for the egg fried rice i'm going to go in with my garlic and ginger i love garlic and ginger can you guys tell i just got garlic and ginger just gives it like that freshness and the fragrance that comes out of it is added this well guys Okay, we're not going to 
cooked up too long because we want it to cook with our vegetables. We want to get those flavors mixed up with the vegetables. So, put in your vegetables. I could have used more, more vegetables than just carrot and peas, but you know, just keep it nice and simple because I'm also adding the eggs. I don't want to overdo it. Everyone cooks vegetable fried fried rice differently. I cook it this way just because I want my vegetables to pre-cook first before I put in my rice. Whichever way you find it easy, do it that way. The key, not to spend too much time in the kitchen. Okay, so with the vegetables, you're going to cook that for about five minutes max because sometimes what happens is when you overcook, when you cook the vegetables, especially when the peas are included, um, the peas are going to brown. You want that nice green color from the peas to reflect in your rice. Okay, so I think right now is just about right time to add in our rice. And at this point, add your eggs. Guys, I wish you were here with me. This looks so good and it smells so, so, so good. Okay, I'm going to add in my soy sauce. You can use your light soy sauce or you can use dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce just makes the color more vibrant. Light soy sauce keeps the uh, rice nice and light. <sighs> Look at this. Call me Maggie Walk because I'm the game changer. You'll never go to a Chinese place after this, guys. you never go to a Chinese restaurant or not Chinese takeaway. Why? Because you can make it at home. Why go and spend your good and money when you can make it at home? Easy, simple, and to your own taste. Okay, that's it guys. Nice, easy, quick, and delicious. We're done. How long did that take? Like five minutes, 10 minutes? Didn't take that long. So you don't even have to have the ribs. You can, eat, you can have it on its own. That's how good this rice is. It smells so good. Our rice is cooked. Let's check on our ribs. Our ribs are cooked. They're ready. At this point, our ribs have been cooking for about 15 minutes now. I'm going to add in my scallion spring onions. Mix it up. And my favorite part, sesame seeds. So just add a bit of that. There you have it guys, we're done. Easy, simple, accomplishes. So we are done guys. The recipe does not take that long. It smells so good and of course I'm already ready to eat it. So 
serve up your rice. I'll say today we actually want more of the Asian flavors, like the Chinese flavors. You notice every day I'm bringing like a different country. Last week was more Spanish. This week is Chinese. Serve it up the way you'd serve it up for yourself. And that's it. Going to go with some spring onion. And that's it, guys. That's it. See? That looks so good. Try it out at home. Let me know how you found this video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And I know you have enjoyed it because I have enjoyed making it too. And guys, don't forget to share, like, comment. Let me know how you're finding these recipes. And let me know what you'd like to see. What type of food you'd like to see on my next video. Hit that bell button so you can be notified when I post up my videos, guys. Share, share, share. Sharing is caring, guys. I am sharing my recipes with you. Yeah, tell someone else that you love in your life. Let them know that this recipe is a game changer. It's going to make their lives so much easier, especially if they're craving ribs or egg fried rice. So guys, without further ado, my stomach is calling me. I am hungry. I'm going to tuck in. And don't forget to hit that button. Yeah, I'm going to keep on telling you. Hit that button. Can you tell i'm ready to tuck in guys we are done look at this how delicious is this anyway guys if you have stayed with me throughout this video thank you thank you so much i appreciate you guys try this recipe out at home let me know you're enjoying it let me know how you found it subscribe don't just sit there and you know watch me subscribe so we can grow together is a family that stays together, grows together. Guys, my stomach is calling me and I'm going to tuck in. But don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified next time I post up. Comment down below. Let me know you're enjoying this video and what else you'd like to see on my channel. And like, share. Until next time, I'm going to enjoy my food. All right, it's so good. Now what I have been waiting for, and I'm sure you guys are waiting to see. Let me take a bite in this food. Nice and juicy, baby. Mmm. It's soft. It's sweet. It's comforting. This is what you're going to be having at home, guys. Until next time, survive for me. I love you.